The North American Fur Trade by yours truly, Lana Sewing. Fur Trade Overview One day, some Europeans decided to sail to America across the Atlantic Ocean. But when they got there, they didn't realize that they were natives, and well, the Native Americans didn't know they were there either. And things got pretty awkward, but we'll get back to that later. Traders were in charge of trading posts. They were usually wealthy, and all of them were European. All of them were also able to read and write. The clerks managed day-to-day -day business. They were usually a young man. They could read and write like the trader, but they were inferior to them. The voyagers were ordinary workmen. They had low pay. They worked in water in the woods. Usually they were illiterate, but the majority of them were French-Canadian. The Native Americans worked as pelt preparers, suppliers, interpreters, and guides. Now back to that awkward situation. Things worked out eventually. The Europeans and the Natives agreed on the trading system. That's the North American fur trade. The Natives wanted things such as crosses, glass beads, blankets, mirrors, guns, and axes. Crosses and beads were mainly just for decoration, but axes and guns were more important. They were used to make hunting more efficient. The, the Europeans were more simpler. The main thing they wanted was fur, preferably from the beaver, otter, or mink, so they could make them into little tiny hats. Wild rice and maple sugar were much less important than fur. However, voyagers weren't really involved in any of these trades. Why was the fur trade so successful in Minnesota? Both the Europeans and natives had what each other wanted.